Hello there everybody, it's our Rogue Legend here, and I am back playing for you guys. I am Setsuna. Now, I actually do have a bit of a problem here, and this is the fact that the bottom of my, 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 the thing, the important thing, yes. Uh, my taskbar is still revealed. So that's problematic. Uh... Still searching for treasures. Gonna be a mostly treasure episode. Ooh, what is this? Cragholm Island. I do not remember this. There's no one here. So yeah, we get to explore all this area now, and I think that's just, that's just nifty. You know what else is really nifty? Delta Ruin. I can't wait for more. I still wish we could find Akash. Like, I feel it only right that we try to find him, but... Oh, wait a tick. Let's see what this... Ah, the fridging rain. Wait, Archimedes Ruins? Oh, this is with, uh, I think that's where we had, um, Nids, like, reveal stuff. Yeah, that's good for Nids character growth. I mean, technically, that would be good for me to go into. I could grab any treasures, then it might be better suited to Nid himself. Oh yeah, the fridging caves, isn't this uh Yeah, we could travel backwards. Don't look at me. I won't look at you. No wait, the ruins were different. I don't think there was anything in here. There was like a or, or that there was a super important chest in here. Oh no! Don't look! Ah, oh, okay. We're safe. Would you believe me if I told you I have no idea where I am right now? Sleep. So many mountains. Ah! Oh, wait, we already went there. Uh... I could go here. I think this place was one that we also had to ignore. Ah, very nice. Let's hope this isn't another boss rush, shall we? I should probably save. Um... You know what? I'm gonna see what... We're, we're gonna take a look at what some combos between our three ladies are, since Eterna and uh, Julene were unable to do much. Stardust Fall, actually. Ooh! Shock, Flame, Inflame, and then Frost, which is Fire, Water, and ignores 50% defense. That's actually very not... That's actually pretty damn decent. And it ignores 100% of defense, too. Um... Well, unfortunately, the only ones who... I don't even think Julian and... Actually, they do. They have Radiant, Stop, and Berserk. I'd kind of rather do, uh... Grand Cross instead, and then switch out to Perpetual Strike. We'll stop Berserk. Actually, yeah, that'd probably be for the best. So, Party, Endear, Eterna. There we go. 
It's gonna probably have to rely on us uh, using Setsuna's heals between battles, but I want them to all gain experience, so... And it's only because Eterna and Juline are behind, and that's only because they had to leave us for a bit. That's how fighting works. Alrighty. But yeah, I... I'm still, like... It, it's been a very, very good time for me right now. Uh, I have the... I have actually. Oh goodness, dear. Oh. Um. Yes. This really isn't terrible, guys. Actually, I may have to correct it. Yes. Is this just a fight the dudes thing? Oh, nope. Some regret. <laughs> That's not okay. There we go. There's that confusion. I'm stunned. Uh, I think... We'll jump until we can get into your stuff up. Alrighty. And there it goes. There we go. Okay. Now that everyone's just a bit more protected. That's not okay. You're really mean. I actually want to try for the big hit. Unfortunately, it turns us to have that. Oh, do we actually get the kill with that? No. And I think this is... Oh, Julian survived! Oh, that's your defeat. Yep. Get this! That's a time kill. Very nice. Really? Really? That's all we got? Okay, before I go on with this, I need to... Winged... That was White Whirlwind, right? Yeah, it was. The exact and overkill? That was... Ugh. Bleh. I'm gonna go look at what's at the top here before I continue onwards. But for just in case they force me into fighting. Thank you, Setsuna. Is that all these ruins are? Just fighting old boss monsters? So that just seems. I don't know, that just seems strange to me. Like... I mean, yeah, you get the chance to get the stuff that you never got before, or that you might have missed. <laughs> Ugh, pardon me. But... What's the point? I really just should switch back to uh, Setsuna in that spot for 
So we can start getting shadow kills. Because apparently, I don't know, I thought we were going to get the guy as part of the team. I guess we're not. Well, that begs the question, which is, which has the better, which is closer to the treasure? There's, there's a lot of treasure throughout the land. This I remember because there was a lot of spots where I was like, yeah. And a lot of spots where I had to be sad, too. Okay, so we obtained that uh, non-locked treasure. We got Thunder Rock Salt. Searching around the village first before we go to that spot. Getting the white sunflower seed while we're at it. Head to the toad. Alright, now we start looking in homes. Just. No, nothing in that home. Don't mind me, I'm just going in your homes and opening your treasure chest. That'd actually be funny to me if they were like, hey, stop that, and I'm like, but you can't open it. Hey, but it's not for you. I had a feeling this would be geared toward, uh, Kier. Alright, let's see what the little, what my little guy got. A hammer! He got the hammer. Well, one has a crossbow, one has a hammer. I would not be surprised if uh, the gear was mapped to each person. Which reminds me, did I even get the one in Julian's home? I don't think I did. Or did I? I should just check real quick. I feel like I was about to, and then I was just like, I couldn't find it. Or I may have gotten distracted. It's a very likely and possible, impossible, I, impossible case for me. No, nothing in there but old dudes sweating. Well, not old dudes. All just just dudes sweating. That's gotta be cold for them. Like the moment they come out, it's just like, aha, that was a good sweat. Now I am freezing my nipples off. But it was worth it. It's for a little bit of sweat. I wonder if that old lady has any food recipes, too. Most of the villagers. Carrie's history. I feel sad, like, we can't find anyone who has, like, food recipes anymore. Ah, we did open this one. Trying to think. I kind of want to double back all the way to Flonia. <clears throat> Although part of me worries that going back there will cause me to be very sad. Yeah, so go through the pass. Here's village. I could easy grind XP too. I can now go back to fight the older, easier spirit monsters. As well as some monsters, the spaces is much often causing a lot of problems for humans. Ah, right, this guy. I remember him. Now where's your treasure, old man? Oh, I have none. Unless you want to sit down and sweat with me. That's all I do here. I pray and I sweat. I pray that I sweat more, too. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, 
Ah, they're slowing again. Oh, you know, we should probably check out here first. Yeah, Tender Village. I wonder how they're reacting to the loss of the guy. Three Ori Calcum. I would not lie to you all and say that I was super pepped about that, because I'm not. Uh. Wow, this actually could be strengthened more. I'm just a little shocked about that, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was here thinking that the last weapon you got could not really be upgraded because it was, well, as strong as it's gonna get. I was wrong. I was, I guess, happily wrong in a sense? But we'll actually go back to, you know, doing story stuff. Once I finish getting me some tre the treasures that I know of. Also, you get out on your right side, apparently. That's not too pleasant. I wonder if I could talk to the, to the, like, the guy here again. Hello, little girl. Ah, it's a shame that you don't have a chest up here. Uh, yeah, I should have phrased that better. Don't read into that, please. That was a slip of the tongue. I was hoping that he would have to be like, hey, here's my secret food recipe. I'll take a recipe from anyone, just please, please. Please, just give me a recipe. And make it good. Make it useful. Although really, you can't go much better than the dodge one. Okay, so I got the normal chest. But where's the good chest? Come on, I know you guys have that. I know you guys are hiding something amazing. It's up here! Dang it! Red-haired child. Yeah, I'm blaming it on the child. It's his fault. He knows what he did. Ha! I knew it was here. Radiant Dagger. Is that a light weapon for... Ooh! That's a dope dagger. I should know. I play a Thief of Maple story. Yeah, yeah, let's hear all that chuckling and laughter. Okay, so three people have... those weapons. I wonder if I can find a better one for Nid. <coughs> Honestly, it'd probably be back in that spot where we fought the Shadow Man. Well, the first time we fought him. I really would like it if he joined the party, though. Yeah, let's go check. And then the next episode we'll go uh we'll check. The place is still very sad. Oh yes, and Grand Cross. <laughs> And now we got we've obtained the shadow kill for these things. Hmm. I believe it was up here. 
just take a quick moment to tent up for Mienna. There you go. We missed. Don't do it. Ah, you missed. Wow. Well, can't even hurt us no more. Bloody. You're gonna have to check what these guys have dropped. Uh. What, what the? Uh, we're actually just gonna radiance. There we go. Yes, yeah, so that overkill. It is just good to go back and like not have to worry about taking things out. Really wish these guys didn't self-destruct though. I guess all these special chests have like the Ugh. I was about to say have all the like good or really good weapons, possibly the good talismans as well. Yeah, more Oricalcum. Well, and your stuff is maxed. Honestly, the next person who should have their stuff max is Kier. So only because Kier does the magic damage, so there's that. It's a shame we can't just escape rope out of here, but. You know, I really did not expect that you guys would want to be right here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Well, good job, Setsuna. Pretty sure that was it. Yeah, that was. Wow, and if I'd just gone the other way, it would've been fine. <clears throat> well, I think that's it for this episode of basically treasure hunting in I Am Setsuna. I'm not going to remember where all the parts are, obviously, but... But I'm not going to remember where a lot of things are, simply because it's just... A whole, like, just way, way too much. Okay, cross through here, go around here. Let's not get lost. Down and around through here. Ah, the spatial distortions were around here in the middle. Right? Um. Okay, I'm gonna save here, and then in the next episode we're gonna figure out where it, where am I going. But yeah, anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please leave a like on the video itself or subscribe to the channel for some more content. Um, if you did enjoy just hunting down stuff and getting the weapons like the radiant dagger, which is a dagger forged using a mysterious glowing ore, which was excavated from the ruins of an ancient kingdom that once ruled over the mainland. This ore is able to change shape in reaction to magical energy, and when, and when process makes some metal that is incredibly light and conducts magical energy extremely well. When slicing into foes, metal reacts inside, the, to, reacts to the magical energy inside their bodies, subtly changing shape in order to reach their vital organs before it boasts a high critical ra hit rate. It therefore boasts a high critical hit rate. 
We must turn a turner from support into assassin. A wooden rod with a mallet like appearance. <clears throat> Although it may look like a mallet, it is indeed a rod, and the head at its tip acts like a catalyst for magic. It appears to be made of wood, but it's incredibly sturdy. So much so that if it's knocked against a rock, the rock will crack rather than the rod spl splintering. It can be used to smash foes, and its physical attack power makes it very formidable and effective. Its strength also changes vastly depending on the point struck, and it can inflict a huge it can inflict huge damage when hitting near vital organs. Very interesting. <clears throat> but yes, once again, big thank you for watching. So the next video I just want to say, laters.